Hello everybody. Oh, a little flushed. I'm drinking a hot coffee too quickly because I'm trying to get out of the house on time. Back in London, as you can see. Got back yesterday morning. Had a really big sleep last night. And got a really nice day today. I'm gonna go get my hair done, which is so badly needed. Um, I'm trying to grow all the bleach out of it. This is such a boring way to start a video. Trying to, it doesn't look that bad in this light, but in some lights it looks not great. Um, because the bleached bits are just lightening up so much and the natural bits aren't, and I don't want it to be a bit more of one colour than this. I'm so hot. Um, so I'm trying to grow, grow the bleach out, so no more bleach is going in it, and we're just trying to match the bleached bits to my natural bits, and not put any colour on the natural hair, or nothing too intense. So I've been trying to do that for probably about six months, and realistically I think it's going to take a couple of years to grow that bleach out. Um, so I'm going to George Northwood today where I get my hair done in London. David is the one who colours my hair, um, and he's amazing. I'm just having a French trim today, so not a cut. But I'm really excited because I've been looking at photos of myself, as one must do in this profession, and thinking, fuck, you need to go get your hair done. So I'm glad I am. And then I have a meeting with my agents, and then I'm going to town to view a potential Buffy's venue for something a bit bigger than a book club, something very, very, very exciting, which I'm pretty sure is definitely going to be happening in November. I'm always very hesitant to say something like that out loud before it's fully booked in. Um, but I have every intention of making this happen. So I'm going to go and view a pub for that. Um, and I'm excited about that. So I might have some time to kill in between agent meeting and that, because that's until three. So I might do a bit of mooching around central London and go to some shops or something. Um, I finished Copenhagen Trilogy yesterday. Oh my God, it's my favourite book club book that we've done so far. It was so good. I'm really excited to talk about it. I'm going to kick off that conversation on Substack today. So if you've been reading along, go to the Substack so you can talk about it. It was an incredible book. Even if you're not doing the book club, please read that book. I really recommend it. It's about, it's an autobiographical piece from Tove Levson, who is a Danish woman. Um, how old? I don't know what year she was born. She's like, a, she's a teenager in the Second World War and I can't do maths that quickly. But the, you know, early to mid 1900s <laughs> and it's split into three books, youth, no, childhood, youth, independency. Um, and it's her life story in those three themes. And it's just very beautiful, very humorous at points. It really made me laugh. It made me cry as well. Um, and it's very easy to read at the same time as being quite poetical and heavy, but it didn't become, it didn't feel like bogged down by the language in it. There was still a real ease in reading it, which I was pleased about because I do not like hard to read books. Life is too short for those. and. I'm too stupid sometimes to read the really hard to read books. Okay, outfit before I go get into my Uber. APC knit, vintage jacket, J. Crew belt, acne jeans, sir, shoes, Demelier London suede bag. So fail safe, let's go get my hair done. Show you properly when I'm home, but I love it. We did end up going a bit darker all over, but it feels very glossy for your tunnel. Hello, everybody. Hair reveal. Da -da 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 -da. No. <laughs> <laughs> in the rain and I've had it in a bun since I got home. I mean, why for other people when they wear their hair up it goes like really nice curls and I look like this, I look like a cocker spaniel. Anyway, you get the gist of the hair colour. I love it. I have my hair coloured at George Northwood by David, um, who has been colouring my hair. We were trying to work it out actually. I reckon 18 months now and he does the best job. He's my favourite hair colourist I've ever had. And he's very much with me on this journey of trying to grow out the bleach in my hair, which kind of ir irreversibly, irreparably damaged it. Um, so now whenever I have it coloured, 
the bottom bit lifts really quickly and all the natural bits don't. So we're just trying to grow that out so that then if I want to dye my hair again, it will be more even. Anyway, I'm going to stop touching it now um, and let you know very excitingly that you can get throat comfort tea in the UK. I found it here yesterday. So I'm drinking a cup of that. And I, like I said, got rained on and it's kind of sunny now, but the weather has been weird today. And I had an hour free in town and I had the urge to shop. And as is always the way, when you have the urge to shop, you can find nothing that you want. And when you're trying not to shop, all you do is see things you want. Um, and the rain kind of dampened my mood anyway. So I went to Our Legacy and looked around and tried on some shoes that looked really cool on the lady in the shop and absolutely comical on me. So then that hurt my feelings. So I left and then I went to Marks and Sparks, bought 10 pairs of sumptuously soft ankle socks. I'm a total softie, it says. Very excited about these. I'm actually going to put a pair on right now because my feet are quite cold because it's quite cold in my house. But I don't want to put heating on yet because it's September and rules are rules. Oh, they are lovely socks. Oh, the joy of me socks. And then I bought one thing from Uniqlo. Oh, I topped up my um, cleanser, my La roche Pose cleanser. This looks like this camera's maybe a bit dirty, so I'm sorry if it is. Um, they're just the tolerine. I use this all the time. It's really good. And then I bought a new Uniqlo cashmere because I actually don't have it in black. I'm saying that and thinking... Surely I do, but I really don't think I do. So I got the women's one actually this time in large. Um, this isn't cashmere, just so you know. That's why I needed this one, because I just realised <laughs> that it looks identical. Um, and I always, whenever I buy something cashmere, I always remember reading Gossip Girl as a child and being really quite enamoured with Serena van der Woodson. And there was this bit where it talks about just how glamorous and amazing she is. And there's this scene of her like, putting on a cashmere sweater to go out in New York. And I remember thinking, when I'm a grown up, I'm gonna wear a cashmere sweater. And dream big guys, because I've made it. This is where we are. Um, I might wear that this evening. I'm going to an event tonight at Orange Wine. It's called, it's called Orange, but it's spelled O-R-A-N-J. O-R-A-N-J, yep. Um, which I'm really looking forward to. And it's, it starts at six, it's five now, but I think I'll get there at seven-ish. So I'll get ready soon-ish and maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing. Well, what I'm wearing is my new socks and maybe my new jumper. Um, so yeah, that was my, that was the extent of my shopping. Gonna do 30 more minutes of work, I think. I'm just working, I keep, I keep talking about the exciting thing for Buffy's, but I'm just working on that. Showed you the pub that I went to see. When I'm able to tell you what it is, I'll go through my thinking of whether that event space was right or not. It could still be right. There's some things that I need to know about it first before I decide if it is the one. Um, but the pub is, that pub that I went and looked around is called the Newman Arms in Fitzrovia, which is where, apparently is the pub that is based on, sorry, I get distracted because sometimes messages pop up on my phone. Apparently it is the pub that George Orwell based, the pub that he writes about in 1984. I can't remember what the name of that pub is, but it's not called the Newman Arms in the book. But apparently the book, the pub was the Newman Arms. So it has a nice literary history, which is what I'm trying to find with my venue. Uh, but it has to tick a few of the boxes. So it's proving a little bit difficult, even though there are God knows how many pubs in London. How many pubs are there in London? How many pubs are there in London? Everyone gets a number now. Okay. 3,535, and I'm saying I'm finding it hard to find the right one, so really, <laughs> I need to look harder. The weather is so shit, and this feels like my first day really dressing for winter, and it was reminding me of how much I found dressing for winter, oh, my flies are down, hard last year and didn't love it. Um, so I need to kind of have maybe a little slight inspiration day, maybe to try and find combinations in my wardrobe that I like, that I can fall back on a lot day to day for winter because this took me ages to put this groundbreaking outfit together. Leather's definitely gonna feature a lot for me. This is from J. Crew. My cashmere that I bought today, my acne jeans that I wear all the time. I actually might go and try these on tomorrow in 
a different wash because these are my favourite jeans. Um, they've got a funny, they've got a knee bit there though, haven't they? But they're my favourites. Um, and I think that they're the most flattering that I own. So I might try them a different wash. And then I've got, this is kind of the highest heel I can ever go for. And I'm also getting an Uber there and back. But honestly, guys, nowadays, I wouldn't even be able to comfortably walk in that for an evening. But these are years old from Philippa K. But I like the 90s square toe with the 90s leather coat and take my Bottega bag. Um, so yes, off I go to drink wine. I'm enjoying this outfit with my dark hair as well. I like all black with dark hair. Look at my skin. I've got a tiny bit of concealer on here, which you can actually see where it is. And I've got that Say highlighter on that I always use but i haven't got anything oh, i have some concealer on under my eyes but i don't have anything else on it's so much better i don't know what it is my my cycle this month has been really weird so i don't know if it's actually like my hormones are all over the place and it's having a positive impact on my skin for once but i have been taking a couple of supplements which i'm going to show you now and using this new like serum thing that I got from a facialist in London, um, which I also think is making a difference, but it hasn't been this good in a really long time. It's obviously still not perfect, but I'm really, really chuffed with that. Um, it's Friday, it's about 12 o'clock. I, the gardener came, and so I also going to help me move this upstairs. When you're a woman living alone, you've got to you've got to seize the opportunity when one one arises of some extra manpower. So this is now living here. Hang on, I think it looks really lovely. So it's got a nice like flow to it because we're in the room of doom, and then we walk out the room of doom, and you go, oh gosh, that's so nice, isn't it? And then into the bedroom from there, and we ignore the washing, but that little section feels very nice and finished, which is lovely. Um, so I'm really pleased with having done that have however done that thing where I decided I would clear out those drawers as I went so I could start putting makeup in them and things like that maybe underwear They're, it's beautiful but not very practical because it really doesn't fit very much in each drawer um and started that job and I'm going to show you downstairs in a minute because that's not a small job uh, you know when you begin something and then you look at it like half an hour later like I have not got time to do this today <laughs> so I'm abandoning it for now and we'll return to it later because I have to go into town I have a meeting um, and I'm going to try and go to a bookshop to get the books for next month. I want to create some content with them. This is just basically my excuse for buying more books. Um, but yeah, before we announce what the winner one is for Buffy's. Um, and I'm probably going to read them all eventually. So I'm going to go do that. My issue is one of the book choices was Shutter Island and the cover is not, it's not good. It's like a movie cover. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio on it. And I don't want a book with Leonardo DiCaprio's face on the front, to be honest. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find another edition. And if it wins, I'm going to have to find another edition because I can't spend a month making content with a book with Leonardo DiCaprio's face on the front of it. <laughs> with all the Buffy stuff, I try really hard to like not think about the covers, actually. We sometimes have really nice conversations about the difference between US and UK covers, which I enjoy. But I really don't want to limit the book choices to something that's very Instagrammable, or has a certain aesthetic at all. Um, we've had a real mix of covers so far, but I think I'm gonna have to draw the line at this one. I'll show you it when I find a copy of it out and about. And then I'm gonna go to Notting Hill to have another meeting and then come back here. So I'm going, going quite far today. It takes over an hour to get to Notting Hill from here, if you're not from London. Hackney to Notting Hill is a long way. Um, actually, I'm going to the King's Road, which is Chelsea, so not even Notting Hill, even more annoying to get to. So I'm going to do that and then come back and continue the job um, downstairs. It's been raining non-stop, so I'm just going to put on a big coat and some shoes and a cap and be done with it because I can't be asked getting drenched in the rain again. Okay, this is the beginning of the regret, that plant. And then the regret continues. <sighs> I'm going to put the plant there and eventually I'm changing all this room which I've definitely said before because it's just not right as it is 
it's kind of like a semi office it's never used as a dining room and i actually want to make it fully into an office i think and sit and work in here every day and like maybe put some bookshelves along here um, along this wall and just have like a desk in the middle, a nice big rug, like really change the space so that I actually use it because I think any room in a house that doesn't feel used never, never feels right. And this room, like occasionally I sit and work there, but not regularly enough. So I need to just make it work for me a little bit more, I think, which this is not doing. This is not, this, this has made it worse. <laughs> Look at this, cleaned up. So now what I'm thinking is shelves along here. I don't know where this plant's gonna go. This plant just seemed, every time I move it to a different spot, it seems to triple in size. It's just ginormous now. I'm not sure where they can go and live, but it will, I'll work it out. Um, so yeah, I might get some bookshelves to go here. And then I went to this, I think I told you, I went to a house called, I think it's called Two Willow Road in Hampstead. And they had, what was I trying to say? Oh, they, there was like a room. You couldn't take any photos when you were there, so you don't have any photos. But they had a desk in front of a bookshelf and it just looked really nice. And I thought to myself, I'd really enjoy sitting and working in an environment like that. So that's what I think I'm going to try and recreate, basically. Um, put a desk here instead of this table, which I also think will work because you can tell a bit better there. This table is longer than the width of the room from there. So I might take the room to be from there up, have this space for dance performances and such things, and then have a desk here instead of this long table and facing the bookshelf so I can sit and work there. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I really have found this room incredibly hard to get right because I have resisted it being the living room. And all Victorian terrace houses like this always have a double reception, that's what it's called. And normally, this would be the living room, the one that I'd sit in, and then this would be like a second living room even a lot of the time. But because I really wanted, as you all know, to sit in front of books and feel cosy, and I love sitting in that space, so I don't want to swap them back, it has been quite limiting. Not limiting, that's too negative. This is not a limiting problem to have at all. Um, I'm also not going to get rid of this dining table because I absolutely adore it. So, Mum, this is coming up north. Can you please put it in your garage? Um, but yeah, I would never part with this because I might change my mind one day and decide I want it back or move house one day and have a space for a dining room again. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the plan of action. It's about six o'clock now and I'm going out tonight with my friend Francis, so I need to get ready. I bought jeans from Acne today. I bought the same jeans in a different wash, so I'm gonna put those on. And I need to send one more email and then I'm done actually. Okay, I'm dressed like, oh, this is really specific. I need to get this reference right. I'm dressed like a reporter in the 90s in like, a Midwestern American town or an off-duty policeman who has like a bit of a drink problem. Do you know the character? I'm trying to think of the exact character in a film, but that's what I'm, that's what I've, I'm dressed like. I've got my sir suede jacket on. These are the jeans. You can't really see them that well in this light. I actually had to get a size up from the ones that I have in the other colour because these is, this type of denim is much tighter, um, which I hope was the right decision. I'm slightly worried they're going to give, but they really reassured really me in the shop they wouldn't. Um, and these are just, they're just such a great length and I love the pie waist. Um, they're kind of pretty perfect for me. And I have on my salmon amel shoes, Uniqlo knit, the sir jacket and my dual handbag. The handbag isn't fitting the profile that I was describing, but this is me. I don't know that I love this outfit, actually. I think it's, if anything, too much like this character I'm trying to describe, but we're committed to it now. I've not got time. It's the following day, and as promised, these are supplements that I've been taking. All skin pigmentation capsules and new, I really like their um, supplements. Skin filter, which is vitamin A, zinc, and retinol. 
Um, and I think they've been making a difference. I do sometimes take, I stop taking dim as much. I do sometimes take this, but this is quite specifically if you get cold sores. In fact, I'm gonna take one today as it's getting cold. I'm in potential cold sore season, but if you're someone that suffers with cold sores, this genuinely makes a massive difference with how regularly you get them. And I can be prone to getting them like several times a year as well. Um, so they, this I really recommend. And sometimes I take like a, daily supplement but I'm really bad at remembering most of the time so these have been the two that I'm making an effort with and this is probably the thing I take most consistently but it's very specifically for cold sores and I'm just oh paracetamol's fallen out I'm just gonna make a coffee and my friend I saw my friend Frances last night and she um stayed at mine in New York and got me this to say thank you so I'm gonna make a lovely coffee vlogging over the weekend so I've actually lost track of where I left you I think it was on Saturday morning and it's now Monday afternoon it's so grey so rainy so bleak um but I've got some new cabinets in the bathroom so um, not the bathroom the bedroom uh, my brain let me show you I went and bought these in a local um furniture shop called Ch Ch furniture shop furniture shop called Chase and Sorensen um, which is really nice. I've actually never bought something from there before, but it's always one that I go and have a look at. Let me show you. So it's these lovely cabinets. They came also as one sideboard, which I really liked, but I quite liked the idea of being able to separate them like this because I thought it made them a bit more versatile, which it has done because I've put them either side of here um, and I needed some extra storage in here. And I'm really, really happy with it. I've moved some of the extra books that were overflowing on the bookshelf downstairs into here. Um, and I just think it looks really nice. I'm really pleased with it. And it's quite practical too. So I'm really on a very, I'm in a flurry with house stuff. I think it very suddenly, after three years of living here, feels in touching distance of being finished. And I'm suddenly like, just want to push through to that point and feel quite motivated with it rather than being slow and indecisive, which is also fine. I do think it's a good thing to take your time with these decisions, but like, for God's sake, Elizabeth, just take that fucking gross carpet off the stairs. That carpet is covered in paint. It's so grim. I've been meaning to sort that out since I moved in. And have I done it? No, I must do it. I'm gonna do that. Um, after telling you about how good that stuff is for cold sores, I've got a cold sore, so. I actually think that's power of the mind as opposed to the lack of power of lysine or lysine, however you pronounce it, which is a bit annoying. But I also think it's because I, um, when the seasons changed quite, it was really warm in New York. It was at 25, 26 every day. So for me, this feels like a quite a drastic season change to be like this. 
um, and stuff like that. Always gives me a cold sore. Similarly, when it gets really hot really quickly, I normally get a cold sore because of the sun. So it's just the joy of having cold sores, basically. Um, anyway, I'm just going to finish getting ready and I'm going to go and view another pub. Um, I still haven't found the right pub for this event that I'm planning. So I'm going to go to one in Hampstead, um, which also has a very rich literary history. And if this one doesn't work out, I'm going to have to abandon the hope of finding a pub that works with a rich literary history because it's too it's too narrow of a criteria at the moment. Um, but fingers crossed this one is better. I also went to one on Saturday um, on Fleet Street called Ye Old Cheshire Cheese, which was actually, if you're ever in London, you should go. It was great. It's an Agatha Christie novel. Not that I've read that novel. Um, but it was an amazing pub, but they didn't have a sound system and they you, they weren't allowed to play music or anything like that. And for the thing I'm planning, I need a sound system. So that one, unfortunately, didn't work. Um, so on to the next one, basically. Hello, everybody. From a incredibly grey, wet, horrible London. It's not so rainy today, but today is book club day. And actually, I'm not mad about the weather for that because hosting it in like a very cosy room in a pub in North London, West, Northwest London. West London, Maida Vale. Northwest London? West. Definitely West, but potentially Northwest. Um, and I just ordered an Uber because. I'm not navigating public transport when the weather's like that and I've got to do a few changes and a few walks in between each one and I'm going to show up to the book club looking like a drowned rat. So I'm going to sit in an Uber um, and make some final notes about the book, the Copenhagen Trilogy, what loads. I've just been rereading it and writing so many notes because there's so many characters in this book. They're not characters because it's a memoir, but so many people she mentioned and so many are in passing, but they're actually really relevant to the whole thing. Um, so I've been doing my revision today, essentially, um, and I can't wait. It's going to be a really cosy evening. I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm just going to put my coat on, get my bag together. I think I need to wet my fringe a tiny bit. Let's do that right now over the kitchen sink, because it's a bit flicky out in a weird way. This is how I style my fringe. Just a bit of, a bit of water. Let it dry again, basically. There we go. I'm just going to head out of the house like that now how we do it. I'm just wearing um, a blue cashmere knit, <laughs> surprise, surprise, from Anne's daughter. I love it. The length of it's great. 80s jeans, my salmon amel shoes, Lee Studios earrings, and my Charlotte Chenet ring for a bit of extra fanciness. I'm going to take this bag from Sir, which is new, and I love it. Really nice little evening bag. Um, and off I go to West or North West London, potentially one of the two. Okay, this is the space that we have for the evening. These books here, and then it goes all the way around here. They've got the fires going, it's so cozy. And I'm just gonna sit and read a final few pages before people get here. This bar in the middle. <gasps> Good morning, everybody. Just putting the iron away. I just like to get in proof of ironing whenever I can and deliberately start filming that vlog then. Um, last night, sorry, don't look into this room. This is the secret shit room. Another room of doom is what it is. Um, last night was amazing. It was the, it was just great. The conversation about the book, we talked about it for so long. I'm hungover today, as I always am after I do the book club, but it was just great. Um, and the venue was so perfect because it was so cosy and it's made me really excited about doing all these book clubs through the winter months because I think it's going to lend itself so well to like cosy evenings in pubs, especially here in London and like cosy wine bars in New York and things. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. I feel great about it. Our next book club pick is Perfume by Patrick Skinned, um, which I've never read before. And people were talking about it last night actually already because lots of people um, have read it and it, everyone seems to speak very highly of it. One person on Substack said that the English translation is really not good. 
Um, and that person who said that was a translator, so they are qualified to make that judgment. So I'm going to keep that in mind while we read it together, but very excited about it. It's not a super long one as well. Um, and it is kind of, it's, I think it's meant to be more like a psychological horror than like a gory, um, you know, not like a Stephen King supernatural kind of horror. Um, but I would hope that even if you're not a horror fan, because you'll be doing it in a group, you're safe with Buffy's, you're safe with us, that you'd be tempted to give horror a go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see, oh no, the, the book club for that, we're going to read that in New York all together at the end of... I'm so, because I'm working a month ahead of myself all the time, end of October. I'm really glad that the Halloween one's happening in America actually as well, because Halloween's just so big there. So I'm going to like decorate the space. And by the time you're watching this, I will have announced it. It's, a, it's at a wine bar called Rodora um, in Brooklyn, which is a really, really, really beautiful wine bar. It's a really, I've been quite a few times. It's, it's really nice. So I'm excited. We've got a private room in there as well. Um, so that's going to be the end of October. And then this afternoon, I'm going to see a potential venue for the London one in November. I'm going to Notting Hill, go back to West London. Um, so yeah, lots of exciting things coming up, basically. Um, but for right now, I'm going to shoot, I'm shooting something for Monica Venado, which is why I've got these lovely earrings in. Um, they're like upside down and because I'm a little bit dusty and hung over today it took me a really embarrassing amount of time to realize that these were the other way around and then I was looking at myself in the mirror like oh I like that <laughs> so yeah we're gonna shoot this morning and then um head out for the rest of the day and then this evening I'm going to the offshoot of one of the book clubs like everyone often creates a whatsapp group um and then they plan their own ones and if I'm available I go to them so I'm going to that tonight so more book chat which is great um and I'm also going to start Babel today I hope I've got I'm almost finished reading The Android's Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip Dick which is the book that Blade Runner was based on it's a really short book I'm really enjoying it but it definitely I definitely want more from it than I'm getting but I am enjoying it still um and I might start Babel after that hello everybody I've just finished editing this vlog, a big old 30 minutes or so well done if you're still sat looking at me right now and I've got to the very end. But thank you so much for watching, if you have. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's felt like quite a nice cosy one because it is, um, it's quite a nice cosy time, basically, isn't it? We've entered the cosy time. Um, and my mum's coming to stay this weekend, which I'm really excited about. <coughs> I'm going to go before I start having a coughing fit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.